full part rear seat delete kit. You get everything you see here in one box. So you got your instruction booklet, your bracket, your rear package shelf, your lower panel, and your back panel. You also get this bag with two end caps and two screws. Uh, the instruction book booklet is actually very detailed. Uh, you look through it, everything's pictured, circled and highlighted. So it shouldn't be too difficult to follow along and replace your back seats with this. So the first thing we gotta do is uh, take out our current rear seat. So let's get to it. Right, so the first thing you do, your rear seat is just pull up on it, yank up on it on this pad and that pad over there. And it just comes right up out. Pull it out. Easy. So once you get the rear seat out, the next thing you want to just take off your seat belt buckles. It's a 18 mil. And then you want to take off the lower bolt where your seat belt bolts to. And that's a, a T50. So let's get to that. So once you get those bolts out, the next thing you do is take out the uh, seat backing. So you just pull these pull tabs right here to pull the seat down pull back on the velcro and there's one two three it's like maybe a total of five 18 millimeter nuts and your seat backing will come out so let's get to All that right, in order to get this seat belt out you're gonna have to uh, take off this whole plastic cover so the first thing you can do is uh, you can go ahead and pull this right where the driver's seat belt is, pull it right off. Just clips right back in. For these side covers, it helps to have like a pocket screwdriver. And you just go in that one side. Careful not to damage it. Where am I? And it just pops right out. And in there is a seven millimeter bolt you want to get out. Take off these plastic containers and all this will come out and there's one Phillips head screwdriver in the door right there. I'll show you what that looks like. It's gonna end up looking like this. So this whole panel comes off. And that's where the Phillips screw will be. You gotta take off that plastic cover as well for this piece to come off. It makes it easier just to take this whole thing off, pulls right out to be able to take off the seat belt here. As you can see, there's your T50 again. Pull that out, feed the seat belt through there. And that's where those new plastic covers will go, provided in the kit itself. All right, in order to get to this point, you got another Phillips screw right here, and you're gonna have another seven mil up here. And you're just gonna pull on it. It's got a bunch of uh, retaining clips. It just pops right out. And then you'll be able to reach the top mount right here. I already took off the bottom one. That will be right here, and the other screw is right behind this panel. So that's what it looks like. Alright, so now that both sides are done, both seat belts are out, got all these panels out. The last thing to do is take off your factory uh, rear deck lift cover and feed this seat belt through it, just slide it right out. So, the last thing you gotta do is take off. That seat belt oh, it should be too difficult. So let's get that done and then we can put the uh, rear seat to lead in. So the new rear shelf is in uh, and the bracket as well. You just use the provided 10 millimeter uh, bolts that come with it and it bolts into where the old strikers were. Uh, so real easy. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is put these side panels back on and then we can put the uh, backing on. So let's get that done. So once you got the side panels, back in and you've got all your covers back in to the respective spots. Um, the last cover is where the seatbelt used to come through and they uh, provide a cover for that and it matches the text, the texture uh, perfectly. So it just clips right in. It gives it a nice finished look. Perfect. So that's what the side panel will look like once you're finished. Here's where the seatbelt used to be. It's just an empty bolt pull now. Make it fit nice and flush. Well, there it is. The last thing you had to do was push that back panel into place. There was a bunch of push pins all along the top. You just line it up and push it in. 
and the bottom portion, it was just the two clips that go into the factory spots for the rear seat. The same spots that you pulled up on, you're gonna push this down into. And that is the finished product. Overall, very easy to install. You don't need a lot of tools, just a little time and uh, a little patience. It can get pretty cramped back there. But the quality and the fit and finish is just absolutely excellent. I love it.